Our next bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Both undefeated inside the glory ring. Jagili Kamara and Hamisha. Here comes Hamisha. relentlessly going for the finish. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the black quarter, a 2019 World Muay Thai champion, now on a six fight winning streak. As a professional, 24 wins, four losses, one draw, and 10 career knockouts. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.86 meters, and he weighed in at 169.3 pounds, 76.8 kilos. He's here in Arnhem tonight, fighting out of Paris, France, and ranked number nine in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jagini Kamara! Now his opponent, fighting out of the wide corner. All four of his glory wins have come by first round knockouts. His young professional record, impressive. 40 wins with just two losses. 30 of those wins have come by knockout. He too stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.87 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 169.5 pounds, 76.9 kilos. He comes in representing Morocco and is ranked number two in the Glory World Rankings. He is Hamisha. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Jan Frana. I just stream it up. Okay, shake hands if you want. Okay, respect the rules, listen my comments. Good luck, back to the corners. We talked a lot about Hamicha, Joe. But what odds do you give Kamara to pull off the upset? Well, I think his unorthodox style, he has a shot, but it's going to be very difficult. It all depends how he handles Hamisha's first power combination. That's going to say a lot. Six wins in a row for Kamara. He's in the black gloves. Hamicha in the white. There's one of those kicks. Yeah, you can see the power. Everything he hits is full power. And you're going to hear the crowd rise up every time he touches Kamara. But there's that movement from Kamara. Don't sit in the pocket right now. Just move. You either got to clinch him or move. But this is where you're going to see Hamisha go head, body, head combinations. But Kamara needs to get off those ropes, and he does. Yeah, he's staying shelled up. He's got to good. weather the storm. Yep, he needs to stay here. Keep moving his head. Get off those ropes. He needs to weather this storm. But you see Hamisha's got a nasty left hook to the body. His liver shot is one of the best. Nice movement there from Kamara to get away from the corner and the power kicks. But you wonder if we can somehow make it to the third round, what his fitness level will be. It's been so long. Remember, Hamisha, his, all of his wins here in glory, if all four of them have come by first round finish. We haven't even seen Hamisha in a second round. But remember, Kamara's experience. He's been in there with big names. But there's that body shot I keep talking about that Hamisha has. That left hook to the body. A lot of times you don't know if that power left hooks to the head or the body. That's what confuses you. He goes so hard at it that you have to cover both. Oh. Hamisha is doing all the offense so far as Kamara just taking the shots right now. 
Yep, just picking away at the leg. See that lunging left hook? Watch how Hamisha's gonna take that to the head now. Kamaro's not gonna know. So Hamisha lunges in with that left hook to the body, then he switches it to the head. Keep an eye on it. Kamaro just picking his shots. Good body shot with the left hand from Hamisha. Kamara already has his mouth open, gasping for air. That's what body shots will do to you. And he's got to be careful kicking that back leg of Hamisha because the hands are too close to the head at that point. Kamara knows how important tonight is for his career. When all is said and done, this could be the biggest night of his life. But this has been a dominant round for the Moroccan. Yeah, Hamisha just picking his shots. So it looks Ooh. like Hamisha will see round two in glory for the first time ever. Stop! Wonder Boy, that's what they call him. He's the number two ranked welterweight in the world, former fight league champion and blade champion in Japan. And as Joe mentioned, four wins, four knockouts, all in the first round in glory. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see him after so many years kind of get more time in there. And I'm sure even Coach Saeed there is happy with it. When your fighter comes back and he's always winning in the first round, you kind of want to see him work, develop, get better. And his opponent tonight, Jagili Kamara, is doing a good job at that. He's staying defensive. He's not really being offensive yet. He's trying with his kicks and knees. But that's what he's doing. So he's a perfect mix of a kicker and a puncher. Knees are starting to land. But outside of the ring, apparently. Fight. All right, so you got to believe all five judges scored that one for Hamicha. Some work to do for the Frenchman. Good power combinations from Hamicha. Level changes that Hamish is known for. So solid, too. His body just built for this division. And the two years off, he was really focusing on his power and strength training. And you can see his physique. The strength and the size of his legs are getting bigger and stronger. The power in his techniques. Oh, boy. Things not going well for Kamara. Has to find something different. Joe, Kamara has landed one punch. Yeah, the big thing here is Kamara trying to survive or win. Those are two different things, right? So eventually, Kamara's going to have to come out and maybe throw a counter strike. So there we go, stuff like that. I think the counter for Kamara is important. Just as soon as Hamisha's done, throw something. There it goes. Oh, nice left. That'll yeah. back him up. It's the counters. Kamara needs to counter. He needs to stay tight here. Once Hamisha is done, he needs to throw immediately. And that's his chance of getting Hamisha. Hey, but a, a little adversity for the first time for Hamisha. Yeah. You know, it's not much, but it's something. something yeah. Yeah. He slipped. He's taking a couple of solid punches. It seems like yeah. he slowed down a little Got bit. His head rocked, yeah. This is what we saw in Kamara's debut against Gafenku. First round, Gafenku came out very aggressive, and then this is where Kamara found the second round. We're the same kind of thing here. He found a nice body shot. Much better second round for Kamara. That's what I was trying to say. If you're a first round finisher, you're not used to picking your shots, setting things up, having the gas tank to go nine minutes. That's it's a different game. Especially if you're going to talk about five round titles and being round for five round, being ready for five rounds, that's a different, that's a different beast. Well, Kamara's starting to come on. Ooh, Alicia got clipped there. Yeah, 
Kamara doing well here. He might win this round as Hamicha fights off the ropes and caught him with a straight right. I was going to say, Kamara's starting to get a little too comfortable. He forgot what happened in that first round. He's got to still stay tight. Hey, but he's fighting to win now. You said yeah, he fight really? just to stay alive. Stop. Good point. Yeah, he's here to win, as you can tell in the second round with this beautiful left hand. A couple more, Hamicha back against the ropes. What a round for Jagili Kamara. He won that round. Glory would like to thank its new partner, Proforto. Go to proforto.nl and order your workwear online. What a second round for Kamara. I mean, he ate a few big shots early on, but I think once he found a little bit moment of that left hand counter there, he got a little bit more confident. He realized Hamisha's power wasn't as strong as it was in that first round. Hamisha starting to overthrow and with Kamara countering A1 there, but it's these counters of the boxing for Kamara that did well for him in that second round. And he's following up in combination. It's not just one shot. He's put the, the punches in bunches. So Hamicha won most of the first half of that round. It seemed like Kamara won the second half. Let's see how the judges saw it. To me, it's the damage that happened. I think we saw Hamisha's head snap a little bit more. But again, it's still a very close round. Like you said, half the round was Hamisha. The other half was Kamara. One judge gave it to Kamara. The other four for Hamicha. But Kamara's energized now, revitalized. Yep, let's see if Hamisha can compose himself and get some good power combinations together. You've never seen Hamicha in a third round in glory before. Missing those high kicks cannot be fun. Swing and a miss with those. Welterweight division is looking great. We just saw Chico Quasi, Jay Overmere. Now Hamisha Kamara is a great talent to have up there. You got it, Phil Hey! I wonder if Hamisha will tell you after the fight he's feeling some ring rust in there. Body work from Kamara mixing up levels with that left hand of his from that southpaw position. Kamara may be one of the best fighters in all of glory when he's fatigued. He doesn't start fighting until the, <laughs> the end of round two. He just flows. He's got a good flowing style. He might not be the most powerful, but it's his accumulation, his eyes, that unpredictableness that he keeps talking about. Yeah, Hamicha now is just struggling to find a way in. Man, as Kamara explains his style, he's, he is a nice mix between boxing and kicks, and he uses his knees well, but he's got to set up his entries against a power hitter like Hamisha. Ooh, Kamara spitting back fist. Nice body shot. Kamara coming up, smelling like roses here with a minute to go. Yeah, he's mixing things good. Look at him now. He's showboating with that uppercut. Good rhythm changes. Kamara trying to set up that spinning back fist again. He's thrown that a couple times in this round. 20 seconds to go. Kamara's going to need a knockdown here. Hamicha not doing much at all here in round three. And he knows he has the win if his corner told him. I don't think that's the reason. But maybe it is. An outstanding round one.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. They give us back a split decision. One judge has it, 29-28, Hamisha. Another judge, 29-28, Kamara. And our three remaining judges also score the bout, 29-28, all for your winner by split decision. Hamisha! Congratulations, Hamicha, on your win. That was the first time you've gone the distance in glory. All your other fights have ended by knockout. How do you feel right now? I feel a little bit tired. And you know, uh, two years I did not fight. And maybe six years ago was my last uh, three rounds. So I needed to get used to it. And what do you make of his performance? He looked done in the first round, but he came back and really gave you a tough fight. Yeah, yeah, big applause for him. He's a good fighter, you know. He came back, I think he's strong mental, and we put on a great, great show. Do you feel like you're where you need to be right now to challenge for a world title, or would you like to have another fight or two? Let me first enjoy this fight, and then we'll see after. Are you surprised at how much this crowd loves you? I think you may be the most popular fighter on the card that's not in a world title fight. <laughs> thank you, guys, thank you. You know, these guys, these guys, they all motivate me, you know, to, to perform and train hard and fight. You know, I have a great corner, Sufian, Picha, my coach Said, all the guys. I want to take everybody. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to take Sidnan Lansro for, uh, for his help and trust, Lansro Cassidy. All right, and finally, what would you like to say to your fans here in attendance and watching all the, around the world right now? I want to thank all the audience for coming because they make kickboxing great and all the fans around the world I really appreciate it and inshallah many more to come hopefully we don't have to wait two more years to see you fight again let's give it up one more time everybody Hamicha!